I, I think of it as like the, the early days of the internet. In the early days of the internet, you might have had um, information transfer through email and messages, but you didn't have e-commerce yet, right? You had information transfer. People could send pictures to each other. They could send um, text to each other, but you didn't have e-commerce where text and images was combined to create one of the main use cases of the internet, right? E-commerce, the purchase and delivery of goods through the internet. But you did reach a certain threshold where bandwidth, security, and the ability to encrypt credit card numbers, um, compression and decompression of images, and the security of, of text um, information, once again, through encryption technologies, was combined to create e-commerce. And I think DeFi is the early e-commerce. DeFi is DeFi right now is in the stages of e-commerce where you would send um, checks through the mail to get your books delivered by the US Postal Service. That's the stage that DeFi is right now relative to the internet e-commerce analogy. And that means it has a very, very far way to grow into something really amazing. And so I, I think that the initial lessons are, you know, there's value in tokenization, network effects are important. And when you start combining decentralized infrastructure like Oracle networks and smart contracts into more advanced things, you get the next generation of applications. And the next generation of applications, the one that will redefine the internet, uh, sorry, the, the blockchain industry from a speculative environment with tokenization into its e-commerce equivalent of the way that all peer-to-peer -peer and even peer-to-platform transactions work is the next stage.